You've been keeping me waiting for like 20 minutes. Where are you? Right, oh, okay, there you are. Right, fine, fine, fine. Oh, there so you sorry. are, there. Oh, I'm so sorry. But thanks for waiting, though. That's all right, that's okay. It's not like I'm busy or anything. Zoe Edelman, how are you? I'm very good. I'm very excited to be here. I did learn quite a lot of people, so I didn't know anything when I went. I didn't know anything. I think I knew, like, Shalom. Yeah. Manishma. I could read. Did you know what I was reading? Oh, I can't read. I don't, I can't read English either. I don't read really <laughs> books. So, because it's almost Pesach, I thought we could just share, you know, some Pesa slash Seder oh, memories yeah. that we have from Ilikul. So I can tell you mine. So when uh, when I was there and we had time off for Pesach, I got invited to Seder from one of our scouts, one of the scouts oh, we were living nice. with. And his family are his family are Russian. So it was a Russian Seder and then a second language was Hebrew and then it was English and they hardly spoke any English. And it wasn't so much a Seder, it was just sort of a gathering of people and they had about a two minute speech about the Seder plate and then we were just drinking and eating really weird strange foods oh, and it was a bit different and then we went outside to sort of set out because the sun was still out and the grandma brought us our like tea and biscuits and gave us 50 shekel each and no. she'd never met us before it That's was so lovely. lovely. Yeah, it was really what nice. Giving women. Yeah. And you're actually living out in the ideal. Do you know every year you sit at a Seder table? I mean, it happens. And they say, you know, please go next year in Jerusalem, please go next year in Israel. You true. can live out! You can actually live out! It'll be unbelievable! Yeah, well, yeah, I think when you're doing it with so many people, you know, some people go out with their family, but you see the same people every year. I think when you do it on your course, you're with these new people that you've never celebrated before. Just like you had this weird traditional thing that you've never done before, but you saw something different. Should we um Shall we end? Um, is there an end to that sentence? <laughs> Do you ever sing song? Do you ever sing song? I think so. What, what are you think? What, what am I feeling? What are you feeling? I'm feeling. I'm feeling good. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's, it's a, a new life for me. Are you ready? I'm ready. And I'm feeling good. I say to every single person, you know, who's thinking about Yerkos, mm. oh, I want to go to uni and all my friends are going, whatever else. This is the only time to go yeah. on Yerkos. Like, once you, you're done with school, it's the you only time. You will be there for you. I've said it to other people. It'll be there. You'll have friends there still, whatever. You'll have more people to hang out with. And it's just doing things a little bit slower. You're not rushing into anything. You yeah. get the real time to think about, okay, so. Uh, what do I want to achieve? What do I want to do? What course do I want to do? What so do I want to get out of my year? When you're in your course, they change the course as well because you realise, you know what? That's not what I want to do. I want to do something completely different than I ever thought before. Um, yeah, by the way, did I ever tell you I was a magician? You're not Leo. Like I've known you for a while. You're, you're not a magician. I am. I can, I can make I can make year courses appear out of nowhere. That's such a lie. You can. I can do it. I promise you, I can. Really? Yeah. Do you want to see? Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> I can't believe that word, that was crazy. I'm You actually are a magician. I'm actually a magician. Hi everyone. So for my volunteering, I volunteered at an old age day centre. And I basically just made meals for the old people. Did you have a little to, song and dance. Did you have to clean up after them? Like um, sort of change their nappies and stuff? No thank God. <laughs> that wouldn't have been fun. I don't know what happens in old people's home. I presume someone changes their nappies because you know. They don't all wear them. I think a lot of them probably don't yeah. Yeah, but I'm just, by the time you get to that point, you probably, you know, back's quite sore, you might have arthritis, you yeah. might not be able to reach around and wipe your... Yeah, no thanks. Never mind, anyway. Yeah, I would leave. So, since here, of course, I've done a variety of things. I led camp, I went on TY. TY! 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 Oh yeah, TY. Um, and the summer that's just been, I led talk with Josh Mark. Shout out to Josh Mark! Woo! Year course has just made me so confident and I'd never be able to like stand up for Israel like I do in uni um, and like be an advocate and you know I wouldn't have had the opportunity to lead to <laughs>
Right, listen guys, um, I really, really appreciate your help. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, you're very welcome. I really had a lovely no song coming about Tel Aviv. And we will be, you know, we'll be in touch, hopefully, uh -huh. yeah? It's been lovely. It's been lovely. Thank emotional. you for the little catch-up, guys. Very emotional. See you, Leo.